I'm Kendra Horn, and I approve this message. There are six claims in this attack ad against Congressman Steve Russell, with half of them giving statistics about our state. Oklahoma, among the worst states for health care. 47th in education quality, D+. Plus, dead last. The first stat was from a WalletHub article from August of last year, where it ranked Oklahoma 45th. It looked at cost, access, and health outcomes, where it ranked Oklahoma near the bottom. The claim about 47th in education quality is from an Education Week article from September of this year, where it actually ranks Oklahoma 48th. Yes, it did give Oklahoma a D+, plus where it graded us on school finance, as well as classroom achievement. Oklahoma, last in higher education funding? It comes from a News OK article from June of last year where it cites a 2017 grapevine study. The study said Oklahoma cut higher education funding more than any other state, cutting the total appropriation by almost 18 percent. Steve Russell promised to address the rising cost of health care and funding for our failing schools. The ad never cited anything he said specifically, but Russell voted to repeal the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare, and he also voted yes for the American Health Care Act, which the Congressional Budget Office estimated would have cut the federal deficit by $119 billion over nine years. On education, Russell has been vocal about education reform and defederalizing our country's education system. Steve Russell took $1 million from lobbyists, corporate PACs, big oil, and party bosses in Washington. That claim comes from the website OpenSecrets.org from October of this year, which tracks how much campaign money lawmakers accept. While he has taken money from those groups, the website says Russell has only raised less than $847,000. Steve Russell, nothing but broken promises. The last statement also doesn't point to anything specific, so you can argue the last statement is subjective. Brett Bogansky, KOCO 5 News. <laughs>